I got the game sound back and you can hear it very loudly, uh, which is the waterfall. So all that static type noise you're hearing is actually just the waterfall. I am currently working to build a platform on my Quetzal to attempt a rescue of a bear I tamed and left in the wild. So I'm building it right now. I'm in the process of building and some things in my mind are working and some things are not working. So I'm struggling with trying to figure out how to build this platform on the pretzel. So we'll see how this turns out. This uh, bird keeps saying he's going to lay an egg and have a child for me to hatch, except for the fact that egg is never underneath the bird. But I think it's falling through the world. Hey, this is the status of the Quetzal right now. And you notice that it's a little bit iffy when you get to the top because only have the top platform and then we're then we got turned right immediately or we fall off the back end. So that's kind of a sad thing, but that's the way it is. So I'm just trying to figure out how to finish this thing off. Get in the air. And hopefully this cat can stay here in this spot and everything's going to be perfect. But, yeah, we'll see. Okay, we're doing a rescue mission. Hopefully. Can't hit trees because we hit trees that'll knock Snickers off. I wasn't giving Quetzal flying lessons before I took off, so what you're seeing here is what you get when you haven't ever practiced flying a Quetzal before. Trying to figure out how to fly evenly, I can't tell. It looks like I'm either descending or ascending, that I'm not just flying straight. Eventually, right this second, I can't tell if I'm going up or down, I think I'm getting closer to the ground. So I want to lay, get a little bit lower, but then I can't see as well, but it's raining anyway, so how much could I possibly see? So what's well, going to be strange, I, I, I know that the bear isn't around here anywhere, but it's going to be strange is how do you, how do you see a bear? when it is raining so hard that you can't even see a bear. I'm flying a little bit faster because, and that takes energy pretty drastically once you start flying faster. So I'm trying to speed up so this doesn't take forever, but not speed up so much that I run out of energy before I get to the bear. So we'll see how I do. I'm kind of showing most of this Quetzal flying because it's a mystery to, for me. And I do wonder uh, how easy the cat is to stay there. Will he easily fall off? Uh, if I move the wrong way just slightly, will he fall off? Maybe if I bump into a tree, he'll probably be pulled off. And and what if I put in uh, railings? Would railings help or would railings not help? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and find out uh, 
I might try railings later to see if they help any at all. Now I realize I forgot to bring a saddle. I should have made one. That would have helped it easier to get the bear on this on this platform. But I didn't bring it. Too late to turn back now. So I'm noticing I use too much energy, so I'm slowing back down, hoping that because I don't want to land. So but now we're going a lot slower. So Quetzal's not a very slow flyer anyway. He's pretty slow to start with. Even flying fast, he's slow. So um, I feel like I'm going really, really, really slow. Uh, the reason I brought the cat along was um, in case I need to kill everything in the area to try to s get the bear on there, which might be possible. I mean, which might be our, a possibility. This is so crazy. The bear rescue. It's going to take like an hour. And that's if I'm successful. I guess if I die, it'll take a lot longer. One of the things that I wonder about is if I fall off the quetzal, like I hit the wrong key and I jump off. Um, how, how will I survive at that point? Can I call the Quetzal down to me? Will it come? Is it like a bird? Where they come and they fly back and forth several times till you grab a hold of them? Uh, what will happen to Snickers? Will he, if I fall off, will he get knocked off if I call the Quetzal towards me? <laughs> or maybe I aim incorrectly and I call Snickers to me instead of the Quetzal. And all sorts of chaos breaks loose then. Uh, of course, I may not even survive the fall. The fall itself may kill me. So, so many questions. It's best just to stay put. I'm trying not to hit any keys, but... Yeah, sometimes I hit keys and I don't mean to. Yeah, this is first-person view. So that looks kind of interesting. Uh, different. Just trying to see if I can tell where I'm at. Uh, and... Yeah, I got a long ways to go still. Long ways to go. I mean, it's so hard to see that I was just trying to see if the map was any better. Can't get any references in the rain. I'm glad it stopped raining. Maybe I can see where I'm going. I mean, I can't see where I'm going. Now, I think I might have put them on that that platform right there. Where my circle is. I think I put them on that. So let's head towards that just in case that's where he's at. Can I land on this thing here? I'm getting a little nervous, like I'm going to run out of uh, energy. I'm just trying to figure out 
Yeah, I, I went fast too for too long, and, and now I'm paying a price. Uh, I guess my cat can fight off anything that wants to try to kill me. 145 Sarko, when you know it. Jeez. A 130. Jeez. What about these high level guys all around here? I guess that's the reason I found the uh, bear. High level bear. He's around all these other high level things. But right, let's land. See what happens. Hopefully, nobody will decide to kill me. I think uh, this is as good as any. Okay, don't look like anybody's attacking right off the bat. Okay, and I got some of my energy back. So this might not be a disaster. Which I like not being a disaster. That's usually a good thing, as far as I can see. So far, I don't see anybody on that little spot there. I'm hoping that's where I left him. Come on, weather. No, oh, yeah, there they are. for landing it's kind of scary I'm trying to get first person and third person trying to decide what's best to be able to see uh, I think that gets it All right let's get on the cat and kill anything that might show up that's his purpose even this little pickpocket yeah All right, anything else <laughs> I wonder if I get two to find the, the Dimorphodon. We don't care about. He can do whatever he feels like it. He has ability to fly. He didn't have to get on there, but the bear. I need to do something with him. And this is how we're going to try to figure out how we're going to get him to follow up the trail. And then are we going to be able to get him to turn? Maybe we just leave him on that little ramp. Yeah, I don't know how I would get him any further. Okay, he's precariously on here. And I guess we'll start heading our way back. <laughs> Whack that tree on the way out. But didn't knock anybody off. So... Wow, that the Morphotron's not going to make it very easily. Uh, looks like we're getting a start. So, that by itself is fairly amazing.
Once again, I have no idea where I'm going. It rains on the way out here, and it's cloudy on the way back. What an irritating program. That could be flying right into a tree. I got no idea. Still have no idea. Well, the flyer is staying on there so far. Looks like it might fall through any moment, but right now it's still on. The Dimorphodon, I could probably just have him follow, but he... I figured he'd fly around and keep whacking us. Because he'd be faster than what we're traveling. Dire Barrel level 202. I have myself lined up perfectly with that tower, because... My base is close to that tower, so at least I'm going the right direction. <laughs> I hope he's not dying. Well, let's see if I got any food for him. You know, if I fall off, I don't even have my parachute. I don't even have a parachute in inventory. Great. I guess if I fall off, I'm dead, and bird's way up here. So let's start heading them down a little bit. Okay, don't anybody starve to death. Oh, Dimorphodon, you can starve to death. Okay, finally... Clear weather. Or mostly clear weather. Yeah, I think this is the way home, so I think we're in good shape. Nobody looks like they're going to fall off. That doesn't mean they won't, but it looks like right now everybody's making it. Of course, more rain again. That's probably better than Scorch Urch. With our probably would have a sandstorm. You can tell how long this trip's been. We started off with rain, then we moved to fog, then we moved to clear skies, and now we're back to rain. And it's the same leg of the journey. So we've had all the weather. Well, we didn't have snow. Watching the, the uh, Dimorphodon bounce up and down his head, like he's jumping up and down his bed. Okay, I think you got like another two minutes to clear up. Oh my, this is such a long, long trip. It's like I'm almost not even moving. I look to the sides to actually see the fact that I'm moving. 
But if you look forward, those things don't look to be getting any closer. They look, still look really long ways off. So I got to look to the side so I feel a little bit better because I see some movement happening. Yeah, you know, this bear better be worth it. He better be able to do some circus tricks, balance a ball on his nose and bounce up and down. I mean, this is a lot of trouble for one bear. I look like I'm heading right for the right spot. That looks like the right spot. Ah, there's the home. Ah, just what I wanted. A nice, smooth landing. Ship pretty soon. Whoops. Now to see about getting a nice landing on this uh, platform here. I should face turn a little bit so that the... Well, doesn't look like it's breaking the roof. So maybe I'm okay. Just jump off the back and ready to go. Yeah, that works. Uh, successful trip. Nobody died. Nobody got tossed into the water. 
Overall good. Let's see if we can save this guy. Nope, can't save this guy. We can get revenge though. In case we ever run across your parents, we can tell them we got revenge for your life. Oh, great. Die! Oh, man. They're fast. I mean, going in the midst of that crowd was pretty stupid. <laughs> but, man, he attacked. When he was ready to go, he just jumped right in there. Okay, now that the bear rescue is over, we'll get back to following Finger Foo next time. Alright, bye.